Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel. Up today, got a treat for you. We're gonna unbox an ammo counter for Nerf guns. That's right, I want a giveaway on Twitter. So big, huge, special thank you goes out to Nathaniel Deal from AmmoCounter.com. He ran a contest on Twitter, which I happened to win. And uh, today we're gonna unbox and review that cool Nerf ammo counter. Right, guys this nerf ammo counter is supposed to be gunmetal gray with blue leds that's why i have the modulus strife out here so it should look pretty good on that one. Oh, i love the patch that's pretty cool nathaniel thanks again man i really appreciate you doing this giveaway and the fact that i actually won because i normally don't win anything <laughs> so that's kind of cool oh wow i love this braid which is like kind of like the power cord at or not the power cord but the feed from the actual um, scope itself or counter to the actual barrel attachment that's pretty cool oh I like the extra gray on the front that looks really cool Okay, quick demo of how this is supposed to work. You actually push it on, give it a couple seconds, set it to the magazine that you actually are going to use, let's say 18. And then hypothetically, once you attach this part to the front barrel attachment of your blaster, every time a dart passes through, the counter will count down what's remaining in the magazine. Of course, when you're empty, kind of looks weird, right? <laughs> See how it automatically resets? That's actually awesome. But let's say you just shoot five or six and you just want to reset it manually, go ahead and hit the button in the middle. And then of course, if you need to change the magazine size, hit the button on the far right. Let's test it out on the regulator with a three round burst. Nice. Now we're gonna rock six rounds, full auto. Let's see if we can keep up. Oh, very easy. Very nice. Wow, I really like this ammo counter product. It's really phenomenal in the way it works. It kept up with three round burst, full auto and semi-auto. It's really, really nice. My overall opinion of this ammo counter is phenomenal. It's simple to use. It's a very high quality product. This Brave is not, you know, it's gonna take a ton to actually damage this. And the overall um, performance of it is right on par. There are a couple things I'd just like to point out though, and that is the fit of the either the barrel or the counter itself is actually different on every blaster that I've seen to have tested it on. So for instance, on the Tri-Strike, you know, it's very solid, feels good, doesn't move, won't go anywhere, perfect. But let's look at it back on the Strife. Okay, so looking at it on the Strife, um, you know, it screws onto the barrel really nicely. Here's the problem. Because of the fact that it doesn't have a notch to clip into this underneath, on the Strife, it actually slides back and forth, which could actually fall off and break. It doesn't tighten down. I thought if I tighten these screws, it might fix that, but it didn't. So I would be cautious running this on the Strife, but it can probably be solved by just putting a little bit of craft foam in here and then sliding it on to actually tighten it up. So not a really big problem, but it's worth pointing out because I just want you guys to know. Now, if we take a look at it on the Raven, it's fine. It doesn't go anywhere. So, you know, it's really, really solid product, I gotta tell you. It's just, you really gotta take a look at each blaster that you put it on, because sometimes it's a little different. So I showed you how the Tri-Strike it fit well, the Raven Fire it fit well, the Strife, the top part slides a lot. Now let me show you the regulator, because I found this interesting too. All right, on the regulator, it actually sits up here nicely. It's not going anywhere, for sure. But the funny thing is, in the front, it actually 
you can slide it onto the barrel attachment, but you actually can't lock it in. Go figure. You, you can't get it in enough to actually turn how you would on a normal barrel. But it's still not going anywhere. It's just worth showing you how it kind of is different a little bit on each different blaster. So not a deal breaker by any means. This is a really high quality part and I love it. Nathaniel and AmmoCounter.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Love the product. I'm out, fellas. See you on the next vid.